less than 24 hours. That is the amount of time that I waited into the new year, into 2023, before I pulled the trigger on the first new guitar of 2023. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Pink Room of Doom. As always, hope you're doing well today. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Do you think that you can trust the Guitar Center used listings kind of just as they are? The wise consumer would say, absolutely not. But the wiser consumer would say, yes, because Guitar Center has an awesome return policy, so why not? Which is kind of where I fall. So here's what happened. Right at the start of 2023, yes, I know, the perfect time to order a new guitar when all the shipping is behind from Christmas. I ordered this thing. Now, what is this thing, you might ask? Well, as you can see from the listing, it's a used Jackson Dinky for $150. But hold on one second. Let's take a closer look at this listing, shall we? So on the surface, it looks like a black Jackson Dinky with a maple fretboard. Okay, looks cool, but let's take a closer look at that body, shall we? There's a pair of Seymour Duncan pickups loaded in there. Hmm. The one thing that almost threw me off from this guitar, the Jackson branded Floyd Rose licensed Floyd Rose 1000 that's loaded into this bad boy. Who knows, maybe it'll change my mind. Then we go on to that beautiful maple neck with the black shark tooth inlays. You don't see that on your average Jackson Dinky now, do you? And then the part that really sold it for me, the matching maple headstock. Yeah, that looks nice. So I thought for 150 bucks, the pickups itself is worth it, right? So I did a little bit of research because I wanted to see more about what it said. Because as you can see, it just says Jackson Dinky. I mean, that's, that's pretty broad. So I did a little bit of research and found out that this is a Jackson DK2M made in Japan. I've never owned a Japanese guitar before, but I've heard so many good stories about Japanese made guitars. So as soon as I found that out and confirmed that that's what it was, click add to cart, buy. It's on its way, I'm super excited. Now obviously I'm filming this in advance because it goes into the question that I asked you guys at the beginning of the video. Can you trust guitar setters listings just at face value? No, you can't, but it works both ways. You could order something and get something completely different in a bad way or in a good way. I'm pretty confident that what I ordered is what it says. And here's why. The app on my phone doesn't work to order stuff. It just won't let me order stuff. Don't know why, don't really care at this point. So I went on the computer and ordered it. And something that I never knew was that it shows you the serial number of that guitar in the cart, which is crucial because this listing only had one picture and it's the picture that I showed you earlier of the front of the guitar. And the serial number that they had listed for this guitar matches what would be appropriate for the model. So once I saw that, everything else was irrelevant, mostly meaning the fact that it has a Floyd Rose on it and I bought it immediately. So call it a little bit of an experiment if you will, but it's a Japanese Jackson and I mean, you can't turn that down for 150 bucks. So I'll be back in just a little bit when the guitar gets here in a few days and uh, we'll unbox it and see if we are in for any surprises. And we have a guitar. So this guitar arrived just a few minutes ago as of me shooting this video. So we're gonna open it up together, take a look inside and see if we got what we ordered. So as you saw, I got the trim arm. Uh, the picture didn't show the, the trim arm on there, so that's nice to have. And as you probably no doubt saw, all of the bubble wrap that comes in there. Um, I will give Guitar Center that. They do not lack the bubble wrap necessary to send things safely across the country, at least in my experience. I'll save you guys all the trouble of watching me cut this thing and try to whatever. I might do a shot of me pulling it out of the box just so we can get a little sneak peek, but we'll see. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Well, straight away we can see the uh, maple fretboard there. So, so far so good. A few moments later. Fun fact, I used to have guitars delivered to my old office job uh, a lot. <laughs> and I used to unwrap them in the office. I was that guy. Uh, but everybody knew me for ordering guitars all the time. So it was just funny being in a this room and not having to hear people be like, ugh, because I'm just, you know, with bubble wrap all the time. But I didn't like that job anyway, so I really don't care. But what I do care about 
is this. So there it is. That is uh, exactly what we ordered, ladies and gentlemen. The only difference being, obviously, that I got the trim arm, which is right here behind me. Didn't expect that, I'll be honest with you. So there it is, ladies and gents. Gents, there's no ladies here. Um, I got exactly what I ordered. So I, I can say confidently that I got an absolutely screaming deal on this. I know the whole video is kind of like, can you trust what you see on Guitar Center? Well, even after this, I still say no. Um, just be very, very careful and make sure you do your due diligence. Even call the store and ask like, hey, is that really what's on the listing? Just to be safe. Like I said, Guitar Center has a really good return policy, even on used gear. So if you know you just kind of do it and take the gamble and it's not what you expected, you can always return it, but just to save you that hassle. So anyway, guys, there it is. Just be careful when you're shopping online on Guitar Center, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have a video showing the downside to if you don't do that, I'll link that uh, in the cards up there and maybe in the description below. Full video will be coming out on this thing soon, so make sure you stick around, make sure you're subscribed if you're not. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you'll know when all my future videos go live, including the full review and demo of this guitar here. Check links in the description for my Teespring Redbubble store. Pick up some merch if you wanna go and support me in any other way besides just subscribing. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you around.